Now that we have created a printed circuit board assembly in Duro, let's see how we can update it once the changes are made to the design in our electrical CAD application. First, let's open the parent component for the electrical bomb in Duro. Note, to easily show the values that are changing, we've exported the existing bomb in Duro to an Excel spreadsheet. Switching over to the new bomb exported from our electrical CAD application, we've highlighted the specific values that are changing. We're going to change the quantity of an existing component, add a brand new capacitor, and remove one capacitor to combine it with another. Back in Duro, we now go into the edit mode. Since the changes are minimal, we have the option to make the updates manually one by one. Or we can use the file import tool to directly import the spreadsheet generated from our electrical CAD application. The import wizard gives us the option to import new components or update existing ones. Updating existing components requires using the Duro CPN value as a reference key. Since in our assembly we have a mix of both new and existing, we will select the import new components option. The next step is to map the column headers found in the spreadsheet. When updating existing components, only the actual fields being modified need to be included. All other columns can be ignored. Now Duro will check for errors. As expected, Duro found that several components already existed in our library, and we have the option to reference these existing components for this update. A quick spot check of the error messages confirms Duro matched the correct components. So we can select the Use Existing option and apply this decision to all rows with matching components. Any new components to be created are still active and Dura will use the provided MPN to create the new component. We can now go ahead and import. One final check that all values were imported correctly before selecting Save. For this case, we want to create a new name revision so we can easily reference it in the history table in the future. Once saved, we can see there is a new revision 3 for this parent assembly. Further, we can see in its history table a new entry referencing the name value. Using the embedded diff tool, we can easily compare this new revision with the previous, which color codes the changes for easy visibility. We can confirm that the quantity has been changed for two rows, one new component has been added, and one removed. 